Okay, this is a video on adjusting the settings and properly using the Vive Precision wrist blood pressure monitor. I've got a new one here. It's already got batteries in it. it takes two AAAs. Shut the battery door, you'll push it down and then in. So just like so. New batteries in it, that'll turn off. You'll first want to adjust the settings. You'll press this button down here. It's gonna ask you first to adjust the year. You can adjust the intervals with the top button and then confirm them with the bottom. So it's asking us if it's 2013. We're gonna say no a few times until we get the right year. We're gonna confirm. It's gonna ask us the month, the day, and then the time by hour and minute next. So we can adjust that to confirm. Adjust and confirm. In this case, the time is already correct, so we don't need to do any adjusting. We just confirm with the bottom button, confirm the hour and the minute, and it's gonna shut off. Next, we go over how to attach it and take a reading. So now I have the wrist BPM on. It's very important, I have it on the inside of my wrist. When it's on the outside, you're gonna get readings that are very high, um, and they're definitely not going to be accurate. Uh, all the veins, arteries, all the blood flow is on the inside of your arm. Uh, so that's where the device is going to want to be. Let's just turn that on. And take a measurement. So these numbers here are just the pressure that the device itself is generating. It's not going to actually be a reading. See that little blinking icon down at the bottom? That means it's reading my pulse. And there's my reading, which is about accurate when uh, you're on your feet under these hot lights. So let's take one on the back of my wrist and I'll show you the difference. Okay, I've got the monitor turned around now. You'll still see my reading from just a moment ago. It'll even show that heart there with the lines near it, like it's shaking. That's normally the icon that will appear um, during an irregular heartbeat. That will also trigger uh, if you're moving around too much, which I definitely have been here behind the camera. Um, so let's turn that off. And then let's restart that to get a new reading. You're already seeing the pressure starts out much higher because the device is trying harder to find a reading. And it takes longer too, as you can tell. and it even tries again. That's how you know that you're not going to get an accurate reading. I'm just gonna turn it off now so you can see that. That's really about all there is to it, just for the basic operation. 